Hey guys, what's up? All right, all right, all right. It's Double Deuce back. Today we're bringing some life into the FL4175 engine. <laughs> What do you think, guys? Today, we're going to go over a few things that I did to this thing that are, uh, I don't know, I kind of really looked the engine over, and I had it running on gasoline with the CDI unit, and it just didn't have that rev that I wanted. You know, it rev really slow, and it was all jerky and everything else, and, uh, I was having trouble with the carb on this, and I see a lot of people change their carbs right off the bat to get them running. So I changed the carb, tried it on gasoline, it still ran kind of the same way. And then I think my hull sensor down here, I don't know if the timing keeps moving on it or what, or if the magnet maybe hit the hull sensor because now it ain't working here. This works. But my hall sensor don't. So I said to myself, hmm, what happens if we just ran nitro fuel through it with glow plugs and see how that works? Um, as you can see, I kind of altered a starter setup on here. I use the, uh, well, this here is one of the, oh, the, what do you want to call them? CO2 guns there, you know. Um, this is one of the motors out of it because I have a bunch of these here and they're no good all the armatures went in them and uh, but it's basically the same exact electric motor um, so they're for the airsoft rifles and then I took the flywheel off inside here and I put on the belt drive off the uh, the Toyin FS100 and just put it on there with the keyway and yeah, it moved everything kind of out a little bit because it's a lot thicker, but it starts now. Um, I can't seem to keep belts on this thing, you know, like you know, even with the, the gasoline, it keeps throwing the belts right off of it. So I would say if they had like a, um, you know, get online and see if we can find the tooth, you know, belt and stuff for this, you know, you should be able to adapt it, I would say. To keep the belts on it now my oil pump I don't know I was having trouble with the oil pump it would work and it wouldn't work and it would work and then it wouldn't work it seems like when I prime it and get oil up to it it works and then it once it drains out it won't pull it back up again that was my thought when I said well I'll just put the nitro fuel on it because it'll you know it'll blow by will lubricate it just like all the other engines do and uh, let's, let's fire it up one more time here you know as soon as I get the belt situated here again. There we go. Now, it's pretty stable running on nitro with just glow plugs. And finish tuning up the carb and uh, see what else goes on I noticed the pulley in the front keeps loosening up too so I think that was one of my my problems with my CDI unit maybe the uh, maybe the trigger you know the hall sensor is okay we got a pulley update I'm gonna squeeze in this video real quick um, the reason why my pump wasn't working and I kept throwing belts I think and the reason why the CDI wasn't triggering was because this screw that goes into the crankshaft right here has some thread issues on it. So it was just a bad screw and it would just slip through like it was stripped. And I thought the crankshaft was stripped, 
So I dug out another screw out of one of my kits there and put it in there and now it's tight. So I think that solved my CDI problem and my oil pump problem because now when I turn the oil pump by hand, you can see the oil moving in there. So squash that problem. Mm -hmm. But for now, put the glow plug on it. You can actually unplug the glow plug battery after it warms up and let it run. And uh, so it's, what do you think guys? I kind of like it on the nitro better than the gasoline. It's very, has a really, really quick rev. Um, the throttle response is just good. The idle's good. And uh, I think now we can put a clutch on this thing with that quick rev. Them, them clutch shoes will fly right out there. And I, I do know they're making a diaphragm clutch for this. You know, with the fingers. Um, that would be very interesting to see. Um, you know, so I'm still working on the, uh, the V8. Um, I do have the mystery motor coming in the mail. It should be here tomorrow. Um, so I'll be, I'll be tending to that and kind of going through it and checking it out. And then I'll, you know, after a while, I got to contact them. Then I'll go back and give you guys an update on it. So, so anyways, like, share, subscribe if you want. Stay cool. I know it's super hot up here. We're on a, a heat wave now. I think since last Thursday, we're, you know, over... 90 degrees so 90 95 degrees and the humidity is brutal so i'm just inside making a mess you know because i can but tell me what you think guys um i'll get back to responding to all your comments there as soon as i can after i get my laundry done um if anybody's had any trouble with their system carburetor you know make make you know any, anything you guys ran into with this put them in the comments and uh We'll go from there and we'll see what we can figure it out. So, all right, guys, peace, love to all, and I'll take care, man. Later.